Hello friends and welcome to a new episode here in Field Wrestling where we will have great wrestling for you guys tonight. Today we have a main event where we're going to crown a new television champion. A bout between Darby Allen and Jungle Boy Jack Perry and between those two competitors we'll find a new television champion. We will also have Pac against Rey Mysterio in the battle of the High Flyers but right now next we'll have a great match between Heyman Adam Page and Seth Rollins two great and capable competitors here for you guys tonight right here right now Heyman Page versus Seth Rollins right now all right the ref calls for the bell and they're off they lock up but it, it's big moves to start off here with Adam Page Getting the lead over Seth Rollins. And Paige coming in hot with a rough streak here. This is the first time both competitors competes in a female wrestling ring. And that's the case for both of these competitors, Seth Rollins and Heyman Adam Page. Heyman Page working on the leg right here. Seth Rollins in a very, very precarious situation. And Seth Rollins keeps on getting down here. Hangman Page, everything going perfect, but there's a slingshot by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins finds a slingshot to perform against Hangman Page, but Hangman Page doesn't let that affect him too much. But Seth Rollins trying to find a way to get himself into this match, he throws him into the corner, he throws Adam Page into the corner. And now, oh, using a third rope to, to illegally, illegally get the advantage from Adam Page. And he drives him into that middle turnbuckle. What a dastardly bad person Seth Rollins is. He has to preserve the wrestling, and now he goes for the cover without the hook one, and it's a one count. He has to get that hook, but Seth Rollins obviously in a, in, in a desperate situation here to get the advantage over Hangman Page. It's really psychological tricks if you really think about it. And he throws him into the... And that's a power bomb. Hangman Page goes for the pin. One, two, and it's a two count. That was a great move, throwing Seth Rollins towards the, towards the springboard and getting the power bomb there. And Adam Page still has the advantage here. Seth Rollins a little bit rocked. Goes springboard, and it's a forearm to the face of Seth Rollins, Hingman, everything going well for Hingman and Adam Page in this first match. Another sling blade by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins finding little bursts of goodness here in this wrestling match, but here goes, and it's a dead eye from Adam Page. He goes with a pen, one, two, three, and it's over, it's over, it's over. Hingman and Adam Page made quick work from Seth Rollins. Hey, and we said this before the match began. These are two great and capable competitors, Hangman Adam Page and Seth Rollins. I expect both of these competitors to be very, very important in the history of FIWA wrestling. But the fact of the matter is that Hangman Adam Page was more prepared in this match than Seth Rollins, apparently. Um, and it was it showed through the wrestling. Seth Rollins only got a couple of moves into Hangman Adam Page. And Adam Page you know, was able to get the the advantage over Seth Rollins a lot more frequently in this match and he showed his dominance over Seth Rollins. There he is celebrating. Congratulations to Mr. Heyman Adam Page. I'm sure Seth Rollins will not be too happy about this result. But the deserved victor here is Heyman Adam Page. But we must continue now and we are off to the high flying Competition here, Rey Mysterio will go against Pac in their bout tonight. And this one is gonna be a great one because these are two very, very similar competitors with very, very, very similar game plans, game, very, very similar uh, move sets. Now, this one is interesting because Rey Mysterio is a high flyer as well as Pac, but I'm sure they, a lot of the differences are gonna be highlighted in this match. Now we will go to this match right now and enjoy it between Rey Mysterio versus Pac. All 
right? And the match begins. Puck or Rey Mysterio have the offense, but Puck answers really quickly. Rey Mysterio on the springboard already, going flying and hitting Puck, and Puck is in on the ground already. Rey Mysterio, I'm sure because of his veteranship, he knows where his strengths lay. Ooh, and that's uh, that must have hurt Puck in the most like area now Rey Mysterio is in the third rope where he's most comfortable and that's a, a splash and he goes for the pin one two and it's a two count it's a two count Puck uh, kicked out from that from that pin from Rey Mysterio early on in this match Rey oh the Puck counters that was gonna be a DDT by Rey Mysterio Puck is trying to do and it's uh, some sort of cutter here and he did that cutter now Rey Mysterio is on the ground in a lot of pain and that's a flip a very great flip off the springboard and Puck decides to take the pin without the hook though one two and it's a two count to Rey Mysterio and it's to be you need to do a lot more to get Rey Mysterio off of his uh, game but there is a power bond a very very strong power bond by by Puck Rey Mysterio is now on the ground and he goes for a submission is Rey Mysterio gonna get out of this oh Puck gets the submission but Rey Mysterio got lucky there he got the rope break and that was very very lucky Rey Mysterio had it lost there because once Puck submits that person within that submit oh, he goes for the third rope with the elbow but Rey Mysterio gets out of the way Rey Mysterio gets out of the way the last second now he goes for the kicks goes for the kicks and now he hits him in the park now Puck is on the floor Rey Mysterio celebrating agonizing to the fans but Rey, uh, Puck answers with the with hand security Puck doing something now he has something in his mind knows what he's gonna do right here is dragging him in more towards the corner of the or the center of the ring goes for the cover one and it's not even a one count there Puck just testing the waters of how how good how well Rey Mysterio is feeling right now the Puck goes for the power driver it's a power driver and that has to be nearly killing Rey Mysterio's neck Puck decides to go to the third rope after that power driver though and he goes for the that's a 630 centon of some sort or some sort of flip I just know that did a lot of damage to Rey Mysterio now and Puck goes to the third rope again he said it's not enough and now he goes for the black arrow his finishing maneuver and he goes for the cover he goes for the cover one Two, three, Rey Mysterio doesn't kick out. Puck gets the victory here between uh, over Rey Mysterio. And this has been a, a great bout, a very even bout between Puck and Rey Mysterio, albeit a very quick bout. But that's what you're going to get from these high flying matches. A lot of damage done to both competitors. Veteran ship doesn't, is thrown out of the window when you're doing these kinds of moves and Puck. Is no slouch, is no foreign person to towards uh, Rey Mysterio's Lucha Libre style. Pac is a high flyer in his own right, albeit not a Lucha Libre high flyer. And he used his submission maneuvers and and other things of that sort. But at the end of the day, the power driver, a wrestling maneuver, is what essentially killed Rey Mysterio. And then the Black Arrow, obviously, a Black Arrow, very, very, very dangerous move in this in this wrestling world and Pac getting his first victory in FIWA wrestling history in FIWA wrestling in general now Pac there obviously celebrating the win that he has and this is a huge win for Pac here over a veteran a, a legend in Rey Mysterio but what a what a dastardly tactic he used to do it a uh, power driver and uh, hopefully Rey Mysterio is okay but now we're on to the NWA Television Championship title match where we will crown our very first, very first, very first ever NWA TV champion. Will it be Darby Allen, the Enigma, or will it be Jack Perry, Jungle Boy Jack Perry? Uh, we will find out in this main event, and this main event pro will prove to be a great, great, great main event, a great wrestling match, a great wrestling spectacle. Darby Allen or Jungle Boy, who will be? Our very first NWA television championship. We will find out 
tonight, right now. Main the main event is here. Darby Allen, Jungle Boy, right now. Darby Allen taking his time to get to the ring, but here's one of our competitors, one of our potential future TV champions. And this guy is a great wrestler, a great competitor here, competitor here in field of wrestling. You have to get through a qualifying match to, to get to this point, to get to this uh, title match. Obviously, he's not going to be given this opportunity without... Uh, wrestling himself and he has wrestled he went against Dolph Ziggler who has a win over the Miz and and Darby Allen was able to defeat a very 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 capable competitor in Dolph Ziggler and that's why he earned his right to be in this match for the television championship and Darby Allen is is gonna put out the fight to win that belt uh, for himself here in the first ever FIWA wrestling television championship match and now he is all that he all he has to do is wait for his competitor to, to come to the ring. And here's Jungle Boy. We see Jungle Boy, and he also went through a qualifying match. He also had to pr prove to the fewer wrestling people, to the fans of fewer wrestling, to the higher ups of fewer wrestling, that he was worthy enough to be part of this title match, uh, to have the opportunity to win this belt. He himself uh, beat Austin Theory in his qualifying match, and it was a great match between two very, very, very high potential wrestlers. And at the end of the day, Jungle Boy proved that. He deserves a spot here in this uh, title match for, for the belt. And surely he will give a great, great performance here in this title match. What a beautiful belt. And that's what all this is for. A battle for a belt that means everything to these two competitors and everybody in that locker room. And they're off. The next time the bell rings, a new champion will be crowned. And Darby Allen goes in hard with all these chops and punches onto the Jungle Boy's face. He goes on a springboard and he flies onto Jungle Boy. He already is thinking a pin. He goes for the cover. One. Two, and Jungle Boy kicks out of the first maneuvers of the, of the match. Darby Allen thought he had it won already, but he obviously he needed to do more than that. He goes to the third rope, Darby Allen does, and he calls for Jungle Boy to get up. And now, he, he power bombs himself into, into Darby Allen's face. Darby Allen has the complete and total advantage in this match. Springboard again, and he drives his elbow into the face of Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy doesn't know where he is. Now he's driving his neck, his upper neck, and his head onto the, the, the mat. And Darby Allen coming in very, very high here. But Jungle Boy finding a way to get his kicks into, uh, into his offense. And now he drives Darby Allen's head out to the mat, paying him the favor. Now Jungle Boy kicks him. And tries to knock some damage onto Darby Allen. Jungle Boy has a high flying maneuver in mind. He's on the third rope. He again too calls for Darby Allen to stand up. And he kicks Darby Allen in the face from the third rope. Jungle Boy not sure really what to do in here. And some sort of maneuver there, but Darby Allen goes for the springboard and hits the Jungle Boy again. Jungle Boy doesn't know 
what to do now. But Darby Allen seems like he has the total advantage. It seems like he... Oh, Code Red! It's a Code Red hit by Darby Allen. This has to be it. It goes with the cover. One, two... And it's a 2.99 hit kick out. Jungle Boy is still in this match, but a lot of damage has been done to Jungle Boy. Darby Allen goes to the third rope, looking for something to end it. And it's a coffin drop. Darby Allen for the coffin drop. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. It's over. It's over. We have a new champ. We have a new champ. We have a new champ. A new television champion has been crowned here in FIWA Wrestling, and his name is the Enigma, Darby Allen. And this match was quick and to the point, but it was great nonetheless. Darby Allen showed why he's the greatest competitor in this division, and he has shown everyone in FIWA Wrestling that he's no slouch, and he will defend this championship, no doubt, with, with honor and with a certain capability to wrestle in these matches and defend the this title belt. Here's Darby Allen in adulation Danny and holding that belt. Allen. That a very, very important belt. And now Darby Allen is our new champion here in FIBA Wrestling. Congratulations to him. We would like to thank everyone for watching uh, this episode of FIBA Wrestling and every single episode of FIBA Wrestling. Please like and subscribe, share it to your friends and family of those who you think will enjoy the type of uh, wrestling that we present to you. Please remember, new episodes every single Tuesday here in FIBA Wrestling's YouTube channel. New episodes every Tuesday here in this YouTube channel. And please follow uh, uh, us on Twitter at Cody Rhodes Tattoo for any opinion, any updates, and any, any promotions here for FIBA Wrestling. We will have an amazing card for you guys next week where Darby Allen, who just won his television championship, will put it on the line for the very first time. He will put it on the line against a Mexican sensation, Mystico. Darby Allen and Mystico will go one-on-one -on -one against each other for that beautiful belt, that beautiful television championship belt. That's the main event next week, please don't forget. In other news, next week we will have Dolph Ziggler go against Will Ospreay. Dolph Ziggler who is 2-1 in the female wrestling currently, and now debuting Will Ospreay, will challenge that record against Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler versus Will Ospreay will happen next week. Also, CM Punk will go against Ricochet in a great bout. Um, both of them debuting in female wrestling, and it will no question, no doubt, be a great Barn burning match. CM Punk and Ricochet will also be a match for us to next week on Tuesday. Don't don't forget. Please like and subscribe. Um, share it with your friends and family. Please um, be generous with your likes, with your your subscriptions as well. And we hope to see you soon. See you this Tuesday when the new episodes are put out on this FIWA Wrestling YouTube channel. Um, just remember, new episodes of FIWA Wrestling every Tuesday. We would love to see you there. Bye.